Hi, hey, hello, my name is Shelly and uh, yeah, welcome. So, uh, loads of people are doing like a set number of books they want to kind of read uh, during this coming year and usually it's like 22 books for 2022 which is what I'm titling this video and p other people have chosen like 12 books to read in 2022 it's all different numbers I'm going with 22 books to read in 2022 however I'm doing it with a little spin uh, so the books I'm going to mention are a lot more than 22. Uh, I kind of like sorted them into categories, I guess, and I will get into like that later. So my aim for this video is kind of like, I'm going to mention a bunch of books that I want to read this year. And hopefully I will have read at least 22 of these books when the year has finished so we shall see i'm giving myself like a little way room space kind of sort of i don't know i make up the rules here it's it's weird but so so, so i don't know what the saying is anyway shall we just get started so as you can see, my books are not like I can easily see which books I have. I mean, I could go on Goodreads and check, but yeah, no, that would be... Actually, I kind of did it, but not a lot. Uh, what I did do was go into like releases of the last like 10 years or something. <laughs> And a bunch of books popped up. So I wrote them down and there was a lot. So the first kind of category we're going with is books I already own. <laughs> I'm not going to go into specifics about the books because there are a lot of books. So I'm just going to like put up a picture. Let's move over here. So I'm going to put up a picture of the book here, I think. Because, yeah. Um, so, the books I already own that I would like to read in 2022 are The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, In Case You Missed It by Lindsay Kelk, 500 Miles From You by Jenny Colgan, Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson, The Switch by Beth O'Leary, Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus, and Walking on Sunshine by Giovanna Fletcher. So those were the books I already own. I mean, I own loads of books. You, if you've seen my currently unread books thing video, uh, yeah, there are a lot, lot of unread books that I own that I would like to read. But these were some of my, let's call them top picks. Um, I, I might read them first, I might not read them at all. We shall see. Um, so, moving on to the 2022 releases that are next in a series that I'm currently reading. So, we have House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Mass. Now, I do believe that I will wait for the paperback to come out, so whenever that one comes out, if it's not until 2023, then I guess I will have to wait until then, but yeah. Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion. Fevered Star by Rebecca Ronal. This Wicked Fate by Kaylin Bayron. And A Blade Breaker by Victoria Aviard. So, yeah. Um, those were all... I read the first book in that, those series... Uh, in 2021 so uh, they are kind of fresh in my mind and I kind of want to continue on with them like yesterday. Moving on to the longest list of them all is the books I don't already own but you know I want them so I want to read them and all that. She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chen. I mean she has my name. Need to support someone with the same name as I, right? <laughs> Blood Like Magic by Lisselle Sambury. The Maidens by Alex Michael Lloyds. I don't know how to say that name, but 
it's 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 there. Alex something M. Michael something? <clears throat> Michael it's <laughs> I don't know. Don't judge me. The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. The Witch's Heart by Genevieve Gornicek. Beach Read by Emily Henry. Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. Inner Holidays by Christina Lauren. The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slain Vampires by Grady Hendrix. The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. A Court of Silver and Flames by Sarah J Mass. And I mean, I will read this book as soon as I can figure out the cover situation because I, yeah. A Kingdom of Fire and Flesh by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The Body Finder by Kimberly Durting. Graceling by Kristen Kishore. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Rebel of Sands by Alvin Hamilton. And I definitely butchered that name, but moving on. Roseblood by H.G. Howard. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Cersei by Madeline Miller. Restore Me by Tahara Murphy. Sight by Neil Schusterman. The Binding by Bridget Collins. Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera. The City of Brass by S.A. Sacraborty. Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. The Kingdom of Black by Marie Lu. Wolf Song by T.J. Clune. Fable by Adrian Young. The Diviners by Libba Bray. These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. A Curse of Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. Beasts of Prey by Ayana Gray. Lost in the Neverwoods by Agent Thomas. You've Reached Sam by Dustin Tao. The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. And Iron Heart by Nina Varela. So yeah, those are a bunch of books that I would like to read, but I'm like challenging myself to at least pick up 22 of these books. So yeah, now uh, I have some uh, choices, I guess. Um, so let me know which books you are going to read this year or like books you want to be reading this year. And you know, uh, until next time, uh, take care. Oh, bye bye. I mean, I shall see you shortly with another video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Mwah.